Good evening, and welcome to Christ Church. The ministration at time of death begins on page 462 in the prayer book. Almighty God, look on this your servant, lying in great weakness, and comfort him with the promise of life everlasting given in the resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We are not praying the, the ministry at time of death this evening for any one person, but for many, because there are many dying, and there will be many yet to die. And in that context, I wanted to talk briefly about one of the wonders of not of the modern age, but of the Middle Ages, that is still a blessing to us today, and that is the hospice movement. Uh, in the Middle Ages, long before medicine could offer much in the way of cure, hospice was the way in which we expressed care for the sick. Uh, if you have access to Wikipedia, I encourage you to uh, Google for the Hospice de Beaune or the Hotel Dieu in Beaune, France, and you will see in the pictures a beautiful building, a work of art in architecture uh, that it consisted of beds lined up all facing the altar in a large hall, each equipped with uh, a little sitting area and each provided with a cup and a bowl and a, and a pan and the idea being that rich and poor were able to come and their last vision would be of the mass being said of a beautiful altarpiece which is one of the great master works of art and that they would be provided with charitable care in the last days of their life. And the hospice movement as we have it today is an evolution of that ministry because it is focused on care and quality of life and the war against disease is over and the casualties of that war are cared for in a way that provides them with time and comfort and dignity in the last. It is a great blessing and if you have not encountered the hospice movement or you have not walked that walk with anyone you love yet, I encourage you to find out more about the modern hospice movement and how you can support it. Hospice now is under great stress because, of course, we have an additional stressor on the dying, and that is isolation. Many of our loved ones will face death and only have a cell phone held up before them to represent their loved ones to them. There is not anything we can do about that in terms of practicality. There is a great deal that we can do about that in terms of prayer and prevention. Prayer, I hope you know how to do already. Prevention, I think you already know how to do already also, and that is wash your hands, wear a mask, stay home, stay six feet apart from people you don't live with, and let's flatten and then dip this curve. We had over 20 new cases today. This is going to lead to more death, and we must love the dying, care for the dying, and reduce the number of the dying so that we can once again return to a more normal, perhaps not our old normal, but a more normal next normal, and be with one another in good times and in bad, in happy times and in sad, and most especially in the times that are precious because they are coming to an end. Turn with me to page 464. Let us pray. 
Deliver your servants, O sovereign Lord Christ, from all evil, and set them free from every bond, that they may rest with all your saints in the eternal habitations, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Good night.